Hey everybody, hope you're doing very well. Uh, another copy trading update from eToro over here. And you can see in the portfolio that I'm closing the copy with Selesh. It's pending close. I did that a couple of hours ago. He is down, but that's not why. It's because of this issue where I don't know if he's manipulated his stats. And I haven't heard from him. I think if I'd heard back from Selesh, everything's closing, look, here we are. If I'd heard back from him uh, about this, anything, just like an explanation, even if he said, yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did it. I got scared. I wanted to keep my copiers. I like these assets under management. I want to be a popular investor and be rich. I get that. Who doesn't get that? I'd get that. If he said, look, I did it, I'm not going to do it again. If I do it again, they're going to throw me off anyhow. But apart from that, I'm just not going to do it again. I panicked. I'd have gone, okay, I completely understand you. And I'd have kept copying him. I would have. Um, now, how he's actually trading is a different thing, right? What he's doing with gold, where he's been shorting, that's a different thing. And I'd have thought about that independently. Like, do I want to keep copying this guy? Do I think that's all right? But I would have kept copying him. At the moment, I would have kept copying Slash. I wouldn't have just stopped it. If he had said that, even if he'd said, I did it, I'd have kept copying him. If he had said, that's a mistake, I, I, you know, I'm sorry, I, I won't happen again. And Itaro's talked to me and, you know, they're watching me. And obviously, you know, we're not meant to do this stuff. I'm really sorry to everyone. Sorry I haven't been in, in touch as well. Sorry for my lack of communication. I panicked. It's been real tough to have all this pressure on me. Who wouldn't have understood that, right? Would you? I would have. I think would have all understood that, would have all been like, all right, fair play, good on you, Selesh. Some people would have left because they'd say, we don't like your shorting gold. We don't like that you're shorting the US indices. Fair enough, different thing. But I think everyone would have been, I can't speak for everyone, but I think I would and a lot of people would have been happy with the clarification, with the sort of transparency and just good faith honesty. But there's been nothing, there's been nothing. What can I do? I have a channel, right, where I'm talking about eToro and showing you the stats. What am I going to do? Pretend that nothing happened with those stats? They've put me in like a in completely impossible situation. And we'd seen Selesh, right, over the month, we'd seen him drawing down. We'd seen those losses mounting and mounting and mounting and then, whoop, they're less than half. Like, in a day, and there was only one day of trading left in the month and he's added all that money. You know, what are we meant to think? So... He's out of there. I would have kept copying him. If he comes out now, let's say Selesh over here, comes out in future and we see over on his overview, come over here and it's not just this 11, 14 day old post anymore. Let's say there's a new one explaining all of this stuff. Still, I might copy him again. He, he was doing great, wasn't he? He was like a really great person in my portfolio. I was happy to copy Selesh. I was going on about him. He was like my second. He was like the highest performer, I think, in the portfolio. I'd copy him again. I think he's skilled. It's true. That at this point, he may be panicking. This is what people are saying. There's some, some comments here. Look, uh, uh, Selesh has lost confidence. His last message shows since the portfolio lost another 2%. He may have lost confidence. I don't know. Whatever. But I'll, I'll, I'd, I'd probably copy him again or I'd definitely consider it if, it if there was some clarity about what happened. So it's not sort of forever. But for now, I can't do anything else. What am I going to do? Just leave it, pretend nothing happened. And what can I do, right? So there's a broader problem here, isn't there? So um, A... How can I be sure about any of the other stats? How can I be sure about any of these years? Um, with the other people I'm copying, how can I be sure about them? I can't. But if there were any major changes whilst I'm copying them, because I do all these updates, I think I'd see it. Do you know what I mean? I think I'd see those changes. For now, these guys, I'm leaving them. These uh, profit percentages uh, don't seem to be sort of fixed. They seem to be okay. You know, there's, there's some reason in there. They, they make sense. But I think... If I suddenly spot one of these guys doing the same thing, then I'll get rid of them as well, you know? Because it doesn't seem, for now, Selesh hasn't said anything, eToro haven't said anything. What would be nice, wouldn't it, is like a post just saying, listen, we take potential stats manipulation really seriously. Here's some of the measures we take. Here's how we talk to popular investors. Here's what we do when someone does do it, if it's, we've worked out if it's accidental or not. Be lovely, but I haven't heard anything, so I don't know what to do. I'm in the dark, right? I'm just in the dark doing the best I can with my money invested and not a lot of information. So best I can do, get rid of the one who I know has been cheating or I strongly suspect. I don't know it. But if there was another explanation, please write it down. But that's my suspicion. I haven't heard anything back. I've said it. So, and yeah, so my best thing I can do is at the moment, get rid of Celeste pending and just wait. See if new stuff comes up. If so, I'll consider copying him. Keep the other ones at the moment. Now, what do I do with other people? when I'm analyzing other copy traders, right? Oh, let's have a look at this guy. Let's look at his stats. He's 2% down. I'm gonna have to check with you from now on. I'm gonna have to crowdsource it. Does anyone know this guy's been manipulating his stats? What do you guys know? I'm gonna use you, wisdom of the crowd. I have access to you. And if you guys tell me, I can then tell other people. And so that, you know, it's not really efficient, but we'll see. I think, I still think Itoro will 
come out and say something or there'll be some clarification. I'm still hoping for that, but for the moment, he is gone. So I wanted to sort of show that before this actually closes, because the second it closes, that 27.75, which is currently a loss, will be added. Now I'm up, I'm doing well. This is all right, so before that loss, I'm currently at, let's see where my stats are. They've been doing well. I'm at 1.72% for April, which for me is good. Yay for my stats. I'm happy to see that. Man, if that got compounded over the year, that'd be amazing, you know, because profits compound. You don't just add up each month's profit. It's not, the number that comes up as the total is not just this plus this plus this plus this, because I've now made 1.72% of all of the stuff that I made before. So each month it compounds on everything that came before, profits and losses. Um, people don't understand that, right? Why they say guard against losses. I was thinking about it whilst I was taking a shower. I was thinking, how can you easily explain this? Easiest way to explain that. If you have $100 and you lose 50% of your money, you've lost $50, right? So you had $100, you've lost $50, you now have 50 left. How much money do you have to make back? What percentage do you have to make back to get back to where you were? You've lost 50%, but you have to make back 100%. You have to double your $50 to get back to $100. So you see, when you lose, if you lose 50%, to get that back, you're going to have to make back 100%, which is harder to do, right? So that's why people guard against losses. And similar thing with compounding, right? So your wins, uh, if I make 10% here, I make 10% of the money I have, which includes all of the profits I've made before. So profits compound. Anyhow, I don't know why I went off on that one. That should be a separate video. But anyhow, really pleased to see my stats there. That's going really, really well. Portfolio, uh, it's Amit Cup. Look at him. He's really turned it all around. Uh, AESI Holdings, which is an energy company, is really back. All the, the Warrior Coal one and the, the Whitehaven Coal are doing well. MPCC, even that is nearly there. The Brazilian one with the leftist government there. Look at them. PBR.A. Let's have a quick look at them. Dot A. Uh, really sort of bouncing back. Really glad to see it. It's down a little bit in the last day. But look, boom, that huge gap down when the news came out about their whatever it was. Now look, it's been slowly climbing. That's a nice climb as well, right? So it's up and down, but it's a real steady line. People are sort of believing in that for the moment. So that's how it's going with the portfolio. I just wanted to tell you what's happening with Selesh, uh, why I've got rid of him. That's it's the best I can do. It's the only course of action I can really take and try and keep things as clear as possible. Because the other ones, I don't know. Now, if there's any sign, if any of you know about stats manipulation with these guys, please let me know, because at the moment, I'm not sure what's going on, but happy to do it. Now, what's gonna happen? Selesh, I'm copying him at the moment. 567 is the is the value, right? Because we've got the net invested, the amount I've invested after I've added money, taken it away, and all the rest of it. It's what net invested shows, the true amount is currently invested. He's lost me that much money, and there's some fees coming out. Together, if you put that and that together as losses, this is the amount that I'm gonna get back. That's gonna go to my available balance, once all these close. Now it's waiting for the US markets to open at around 3.30 and then it'll close, that money will go to here. What do I do with that money? Who would you add it to? Would you add more to Amit Cup? I wouldn't at the moment just because he's been volatile and it's terrifying a little bit. He's doing amazingly. Well done, Amit, but it's a little bit terrifying. I'm tempted to add more to Marco to get him up to a thousand. Um, because he sort of he seemed to be steady. Fund Manager X doing really well. He was really down. Look at these stats for the month. Would you add it to Fund Manager Zek? Down nearly 6% in January, and then boom, up. 8.17 in February, 5.17 in March, 2.52 in April. He's up nearly 10% for the year so far. Would you add it to Fund Manager X? Remind, remind ourselves what he's doing. A lot of uh, Asian stocks were sort of, these are exposure to the Asian markets over here. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, and he's got some Germany over there. Hong Kong, Hong Kong. What do you think? Equities, he's got a little bit of cryptos, but a little bit. What do you think? Would you add it to him? Would you add it to um, Fund Manager Zek? Thomas Parry Jones hasn't got much on him. He's got 400 on him. Should I add more to Thomas Parry Jones or Autobus, who's got 600 on him? I've already got more on Marco. Why have I got more on Marco than Kresimir? What do you think? Should I up Kresimir? Um, we'll see. Let, let me know what you think, who I should add it to, but... I can't see that any of the other traders I've been looking at are better than the ones I would still have left in my portfolio. If you have uh, suggestions for who else might diversify or add some sector I'm missing or some asset I'm missing, let me know in the comments. But that's what I'm thinking of doing. So that money will be back with me at around half three today. I've got to go out and look at a garage because I've got to store all this stuff for moving. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments and I'll copy uh, someone else or put it with one of these guys. I'm leaning towards... Swiss way, and I'm not sure. Maybe split the rest between the others. Not sure. Anyhow, I hope you're doing really well. Um, I hope things go well 
for Selesh. I, I don't want to panic him. I don't want to just heap pressure on him. In case it was a mistake and he's now panicking and doesn't, doesn't know what to do. Because that would be horrible, right? I'm making videos and talking about it. I don't know. Innocent until proven guilty. I've got to assume that it's a mistake, but I'm just trying to guard myself. I'll wait. I'll see what he says. If he says something great, I'll reconsider. But for now, there we are. Anyhow, let me know what you're doing. Let me know how you're going. Hope you're well. God bless. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.